good morning students today we are going to do the problems from receipts and payments account so before starting our problem let us have a recap how to prepare the receipts and payments account so what what is receipts and payments account it is a summary of cash and bank transactions of not for profit organizations it is prepared at the end of a financial year so it is like a real account so we should debit all the uh, receipts on the debit side and we have to credit all the payments and do not need to um, differentiate between revenue items and capital items including revenue and capital items you have to enter all the items in the receipts and payments account and irrespective of the uh, year whether it is the current year's payments are received or the previous year's uh, receipts and payments or even if it is the next year subsequent year's receipts and payments we, we will enter everything in the receipts and payments account but only one thing you should remember we should not enter the non cash item such as depreciation and outstanding expense then accrued income all this may not be entered okay now we will start with the before starting one more thing you have to remember the steps in preparation first of all we have to write the heading the heading you have to write then uh, left side debtor creditor since it is an account you have to write debtor creditor then uh, left hand side receipts then payments right hand side payments then rupees you have to write then we will uh, start entering the items the first two one should be the opening cash balance and the bank balance you have to write the two balance brought down cash bank then all the receipts on the debit side then credit side first item may be uh, if there is bank balance that credit balance we have to write as bank overdraft by balance brought down bank overdraft then after entering all the receipts on uh, receipts on the debit side and credit, uh, payments on the credit side we will balance the we will balance the this receipts and payments account and the difference will be either the closing cash balance or bank balance if it is on the debit side then it will be that bank overdraft usually we will get the credit side only less if there is uh, if it is the debit side is less we will write to balance carried on that will be a uh, bank overdraft okay now we will do i will show the first uh, illustration on in the book and we will i will show and uh, do the problem illustration 1 from the following particulars of tamil educational society prepare receipts and payments account for the year ended 31st march 2019 particulars opening cash balance rent paid scholarship given entrance fees received building purchase staff salary subscription received only one thing you have to check whether it is a receipt or payment if it is a receipt you have to enter on the debit side if it is a payment you have to enter on the credit side then you have to balance okay now now i will do and show to you first you have to write the heading in the books of tamil educational society then account name receipts and payments account for the year ended 31st march 2019 then draw line right debtor on the left hand side creditor on the right hand side column receipts payments rupees rupees then the first item should be the balance opening balance we have to write to balance brought down to balance brought down simply open cash balance so again you have to write cash in hand how much 18000 write the amount correctly then rent paid next item so write rent by rent paid by rent also you can write or rent paid by rent 6000 scholarship given so it is an expense so by scholarship scholarship you can write other you can, you can write scholarship given 15200 
entrance fee is received it is a it is a receipt so you have to write on the debit side to entrance fees Eighteen thousand five hundred. Then building purchased. It is an expense. So by building two lakh ten thousand. Staff salary. It is also an expense. So by staff salary. How much amount? Fifty five thousand. Subscription received. It is a receipt. So to so to subscription we have entered all the items subscription received 265000 now we should balance this account so just to see which side we have more amount here 265 there 210 okay around this one only will be more if you have doubt you can add both the side and check now this side we will get you have got more so i have written that amount here this amount also you have to write the same amount this side now we will write the balance by balance carry down by balance carry down then you have to write cash in hand since cash in hand in the beginning we have so cash in hand you have to write now you have to add and check zero zero then here to there So you add three, we will get five. Then fourth digit eleven, eleven plus five sixteen, sixteen plus five eleven, sixteen plus five twenty one. Balance two, two plus one three, four nine, nine plus one ten. Balance one three. So fifteen thousand three hundred is the answer. Okay, students. Now we I will read the second illustration and I will explain. Second illustration from the following particulars of Trichy Educational Society prepare receipts and payments account for the year ended thirty first December two thousand eighteen. Particulars: opening cash balance, investments made, honorarium paid, donation received, audit fees paid. Locker rent received, sale of furniture, general expenses, postage, subscription received. First, write the number. Take second illustration. Then, in the books of Trichy Educational Society, receipts and payments account for the year ended thirty first December two thousand eighteen. Write in two lines. Include both the pages. Then, write at the here debit. Then at the right hand side corner, credit. Then column, draw column. Then write receipts, rupees, payments, rupees. Now we start with the first one. Opening cash balance. How we have to write? To balance brought down. Cash in hand. Cash balance. So you have to write cash in hand. Twenty thousand. <coughs> then investments made. It is an expenditure. payment so by investments eighty thousand honorarium paid it is given clearly paid payment so by honorarium three thousand Donation received, received. So it is received to donation. Eighty thousand. Yeah. Audit fees paid. So it is a payment. Audit fees. Yeah. Audit fees two thousand. Locker rent received. So it is clearly given as received. So it is a receipt. So you write locker rent twelve thousand. Sale of furniture. If we sell sell something, we will receive receive some cash. So we have to write to sale of furniture. We have to differentiate whether it is a receipt or payment. Whether we receive cash or pay cash, that's all you have to check. 
general expenses expenses is a payment so by general expenses seven thousand postage it is also an expense so by postage postage one thousand well subscription received so it is a receipt so to subscription ten thousand we have entered all the items so leave then just to check which side we will get more maybe the debit side receipts are more than the payments so leave some space and draw a single line then double line both the sides now add the large amount side it is zero in second column zero three zero then four five plus two seven then four over fifth digit yeah, 10 11 12 so 1 lakh 20 7 thousand write the same amount on the credit side also 1 lakh 27 thousand now we have to write the balance amount so how we have to write by balance carry down by balance carry down cash in hand the here you don't write the balancing figure as we wrote in the first chapter. Okay. Here the balance carried on cash in hand only you have to write. Now you add and find out the difference amount. 1, 2, 3, 0. Then 4th 1. 5, 12, 13. 13 plus 4. 17. Balance 1. 9. 9 plus 3, 12. So, 9 plus 3, 12. So, what is the closing figure? 34,000. That is cash in hand. Now, I will explain the third, pro third illustration. Illustration 3. From the following particulars of Chennai Sports Club, Prepare receipts and payments account for the year ended 31st March 2018. Particulars. Opening cash balance, opening bank balance, interest pay, telephone expenses, upkeep of grounds, life membership fees received, bats and balls purchased, subscriptions received 2016-17, 17-18, 18-19. Tournaments expenses, tournament fund receipts, closing balance of cash given. So, we have closing balance of cash is given. So, we may have to prepare the, we have to calculate the closing balance of bank. Okay. Now, I will do and show. First, we have to write the number. Illustration 3. Okay. Now, you have to write the heading in the books of Chennai Sports Club. Second line, receipts and payments account for the year ended 31st March 2018. Then, draw the columns. Then debtor, creditor, you write. Then receipts, payments, rupees, rupees. To balance, carry down. Cash in hand. Because opening cash balance. So that is cash in hand. How much? 10,000. Either here also you can write it, 10,000, two columns you have to write, inner column, outer column. Yeah, you can write here and we can add there also. Then, cash at bank, 15,000. So, how much you will get? 25,000. Then interest paid, that is an expense, so by interest. Whether it's a payment or receipt, you have to find out, that's all. That should be done correctly. Then telephone expenses, expenses is a payment, so by telephone expenses. 7,000. 
upkeep of grounds that is also an expense upkeep of grounds sports club for the upkeep of ground is an expense 22500 Life membership fees received. That is the receipt. To life membership fees received. Uh, simply we can write life membership fees also. No need to write the receipt. Life membership fees how much? Five thousand five hundred. Then bats and balls purchased. so that is an expense what we when we purchase something that is an expense bats and balls purchased 13000 then the other side subscription received that is the receipt to subscription here two three years given so write as it is 2016 2017 how much 4500 the next year 1718 65000 then 2018 2019 so write the total in the outer column 1 2 5 14 balance 1 7 Seventy four thousand five hundred. Next, tournament expenses. All expenses payment. Tournament expenses. Amount twelve thousand five hundred. Then tournament fund receipts. Tournament fund receipts. Fifteen thousand. Then closing balance. Where it will come by balance carry down. That balance of cash it is given. So cash in hand we have to write. Cash in hand five thousand. Write in the inner column. Now we have to find out which side we have more total twenty five seventy five. So this one only will be more. So you write the amount total amount. Draw column, add and write zero zero five plus five ten balance one ten six four ten. Fifteen, twenty, balance two, three, ten, twelve. One lakh twenty thousand. So write that same amount here. One lakh twenty thousand. Now, cash in hand is there. Maybe the difference is cash at bank. If we write like this, difficult to calculate directly. Okay, we will do here. Here five plus five, ten. Balance one, six, seven, thirteen, fifteen, eighteen, twenty. Twenty five zero twenty five plus five thirty balance three three two five six seven seven plus five seven plus five twelve so fifty five thousand is the balance. Here you have to write fifty-five thousand plus five thousand, sixty thousand. You have to write here. 
okay or you can uh, write uh, here 5000 with the pencil you can write that amount here and you can add then rub and write here okay that you can do so we will see now the fourth problem illustration 4 from the following particulars of pumbukar Illet literary association prepare receipts and payments account for the year ended 31st march 2017 particulars opening cash in hand bank overdraft opening printing and stationery interest paid sale of investment purchase of refreshment outstanding salary endowment fund receipts lighting charges subscriptions received repairs and renewals Conveyance paid, books purchased, insurance premium paid, sundry receipts, government grant received, sale of refreshment, depreciation on buildings. Here you have to remember one rule that actual cash receipts and actual cash payments only we have to record in this receipts and payments account. Any outstanding expense or depreciation or accrued income should not be entered that you have to remember one sentence now we will do this one first write the number then heading then receipts payments write the first one opening cash in hand that we have to write to balance brought down cash in hand Five thousand. Here, next line, bank overdraft was on first April. So this is credit balance. So by balance brought down, bank overdraft. You write in the next line. Since I have less space, I am writing in the same line. Okay, four thousand. Printing and stationery, it is an expense. So, write on the credit side by printing and stationery. Thousand five hundred. Then, interest paid, it is also an expense. So, by interest. Three thousand two fifty. Then, sale of investment, it is a receipt. So, sale of investment, 1000. Purchase of refreshments, it is an expense by purchase of refreshment, 1500. Outstanding salary will not come because we have not paid that one. So, leave it. Endowment fund receipt. So, to endowment fund receipt. 2000. Lighting charges. It is an expense. So, lighting charges. Thousand three hundred. Subscription received. Receipt. True subscription. 20,000. Repairs and renewals. Expense. By repairs and renewals. 2,500. Conveyance paid. That is also an expense. So, by conveyance, 2,750. Books purchased, that is also an expense. 10,000. Insurance premium pay, it is, a, it is a payment. So, by insurance premium. Insurance premium. Four thousand sundry receipts, sundry receipts, 
seven fifty. Government grant received to government grant. Six thousand. Sale of refreshment. Sale of refreshment. Thousand five hundred. The depreciation will not be coming because it is not an actual payment. It is a reduction in the value of an asset. So don't enter this one. Then cash at bank closing we have to write by balance carried on. Carried on. It is cash at bank. So cash at bank. We have to write. The balance may be cash in hand. Okay. 2000. Outside also we can write. Okay. 2000. Now we will total it. If little difference you have to uh, add with the pencil and you can check. You can add this amount and this amount and check with the pencil. But I am using the this marker pen. Add and write. Zero. Second one. Five. Third digit. Twelve. Twelve. Balance one. Two. Eight. Ten. Eleven. Sixteen. Balance one. Three. The same amount you write here also. Thirty six thousand two fifty. The balance amount will be cash in hand. Okay. Cash at bank should be at the bottom. Cash in hand will be in the top. Okay. So the balance you have to write here. Zero. Second digit. Five. Ten. Ten plus five. Fifteen. Balance one. Balance one. Third digit. Six. Eight. Thirteen. Sixteen. 21, 28, 28 plus 4, 32, balance 3, 4th digit, 7, 8, 11, 12, 13, 15, 17, 21, 23, 23 plus 3, 26, balance 2, 1 plus 3, 3. okay, this is the balance, if you don't write there, balancing figure. Okay, we have got the answer. Students, we have completed four illustrations. So, you have to complete four exercises. The same items only given in this exercise also. What I have explained in the illustration. Do as per the question. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me through phone. I think you might have understood everything clearly. If this is, uh, these five uh, exercises are very simple to calculate the cash in hand or cash at bank by preparing the receipts and payments account. But we have to, uh, the, we have to prepare the next account, income and expenditure account. There it is a little uh, tough to Prepare because we have to differentiate the items between capital and revenue. That if you learn, it will be easier for you. But this receipts and payments account is very, very simple. Uh, they will be asking for 5 marks also or 3 marks or even 2 marks by giving 4 or 5 items. It will be very easy. Uh, the only thing you have to remember, we may not enter the depreciation or and the outstanding expenses and accrued income. So other than this, all the actual receipts must be entered on the debit side and actual payments are recorded on the credit side. So don't forget to write the question number. Then the next step is writing the heading. Then draw the column and write debtor, creditor. Then you write receipts and payments. Do it. Mm, enter all the items then last you have to uh, add you have to 
balance that account you have to add the large amount side first so there you write you add and write with the pens don't write with pen okay uh, do it try it will be very easy okay students thank you